Hey guys, it's Navjot Singh Jadeja here and welcome to ED Technology. In today's lecture, we are going to talk on recursive functions. So if you haven't referred my earlier videos on uh, what is function or what is UDF and also if you have not referred uh, how to pass on the parameters in the function, I would suggest you better uh, watch those videos for the smooth understanding of this lecture. So basically, let us understand what is a recursive function and uh, before that we will do a quick revision. So there are four different types of functions which are there in C. Type 1 when we have the return type and the function name and the input parameters. So we have the arguments, we have the return type. Type 2 is when the return type is not there, so basically we can have it as in void. But input parameters are there, arguments are there inside the function. Type 3 is there when the return type is there but the input parameters aren't there. And similarly type 4 where we do not have the return type nor do we have the uh, you know uh, input parameters or the arguments. And these are basically used for printing or displaying some results. Okay. And this is a program we have seen in the earlier lecture where uh, we have a uh, draw star line. So we are drawing a star line calling this function from here when it is called in the void main. So it goes to the definition, it prints because we have specified 10 in here, it prints 10 stars and that would be the output of the program. So this is the example of uh, where we do not have the return type but an input parameter is given. And when it is called upon, it executes what is defined into the code. So basically a function can call another function. As you remember void main in the introductory session of the UDF, I told you about two different types of function. One is the library function, other is the user defined function and main is one of the uh, main user defined functions we use, right. So, if a function can call another, can we use the similar kind of function to draw such patterns? So what is the program in here? This is a simple program using two loops. Uh, if you have attended my earlier lectures, uh, I have told you so many times that uh, in order to get one dimension or uh, one particular uh, you know, direction, we need one loop. So even in the array and in other uh, cases of two dimensional, multi dimensional things I have mentioned that we require different dimensions, uh, different loops for different dimensions. So here we have two dimensions, vertical and horizontal. So we need two loops, one to control the vertical, other to control the horizontal. For those who do not understand, I is the rows, J is the columns, right? But if I have this program and if that is the code which prints star, can I replace this with the earlier part of the code? which is draw star line and put it here and of course I can. So this very program will become uh, optimized, this very program will become shorter in size also. So this very program can be turned into this. So basically the long program which we had here will now become a shorter version of the same. So in this way uh, recursion has lot of benefits in this way. It reduces the time complexity and if you are uh, you know computer science grad uh, you are learning this subject so you will also be learning algorithms you will also be learning data structures so somewhere you will realize that time complexity plays a vital role. So we will discuss the benefits of uh, recursion at the end of the lecture when I summarize. So this is how in the void main I can call draw star line within the loop and recursively it will go here and execute it, alright. So that particular code, I can take it here and can I use it in one more function, draw pyramid. So just like in the void main I have called upon draw star line, can I actually call draw star line in another function which is not void main and in void main I call draw pyramid which is a simple drawing a pyramid and that can also be done. So this is nothing but nesting of the function. So here we have three different functions. One is void main, another is draw star line, uh, another is void draw pyramid. 
where within the draw pyramid we are calling the draw star line function and within the void main we are calling the draw pyramid and let us see how works it works so basically you know that void main is the first executed part of the code so inside that there is draw pyramid uh, code so it will call the function it will go to the definition part of draw pyramid in that there is draw star line so it will go to the draw star line revert with the answer in here which will be stored and be reverted here so in this way the multiple functions will be nested and called upon so what is the background process when i say nesting of the function there is function 1 which is calling function 2 which is in turn calling function 3 and which might be calling function 4 and they will return their return values or responses from each of the function like this ultimately resulting in a nesting of a function so is it possible that a function can call itself now if we can call a function within a function so the question arises can a function call itself so the uh, you know if we were to discuss function calling itself the answer is yes it can and this is how it can be done this is called recursive function when a function calls itself it is known as a recursive call recursive is calling within the function and that is known as recursive function so the function is known as recursive function and the calling procedure is known as recursive call now if you are watching this video preparing for the examination these are the definitions which can come also uh, theory questions can be asked uh, in the examination with the help of a program explain what is recursive call or a recursive function and give a suitable example for the same so you can use the examples which we are using in here so first example which we have in here is void draw star line printf but within that we are calling the draw line itself so what would happen is it this is known as recursive call and this is known as recursive function and what would happen in the background that it will call itself it will you know repeat the process but now there is a problem with this scenario what is the problem that function will call itself again and again indefinite times and this actually can lead into a situation where compiler gets into an infinite loop so what is the solution solution is we give a terminating condition condition which actually helps the function to stop and you know eliminate or come out of the loop so this is how we can change it we have given a condition when this will be executed for a particular period of time so if you are declaring i this will be executed i is equal to 9 it will be executed for 9 different times when before it becomes 0 and then ultimately stop so this can be used in another example such as factorial also so in a factorial we are doing the same we are reducing the number so we can inculcate a formula which is n into fact n minus 1 because ultimately again fact n minus 1 is nothing but n into n minus 1 right like that so we can come up with that and let us see a small program for the same so this is a normal function for the factorial we have integer fact integer n so this is a normal udf we are declaring everything in here but what if we want to call this as in the recursive function so this is how the code will become so as i said it will get optimized it will get into a zone where it is getting uh, you know smoother by the way and also it's easier to manage so these are the advantages and as i said we will be summarizing the benefits but this is the you know comparison of normal function with the recursive function now if we use this uh, example in here so in this way we can write a complete program so i would want to pause uh, this video for you guys you can pause it go back to your code editors and try it by yourself what you have to do is you have to write an udf which calls the function within itself correct and this is the background process which is happening so let's say we have taken n is equal to 3 so what happens is we replace the n uh, value as in the 3 so it will become 3 as you can see it in here and fact 3 minus 1 which is fact 2 and then it will call here the n becomes 2 so again here the 2 will be replacing the n similarly 
for fact 1 where we are replacing the values with the 1 and returning each of the value in the earlier function all right so this is the process which happens and ultimately we get the result which is you know which is to be printed from the void main from earlier program so the result is 6 so in this way uh, the background process happens in the you know uh, the recursive function or the overall you know recursive call and as i said we will be listing out a few benefits and few disadvantages of recursive call in the video i said so first uh, major benefit is recursion can reduce the time complexity so if you are looking for something which is quicker uh, especially you know fibonacci series factorial etc then this is something very beneficial second is recursion adds clarity and basically you know it reduces the time to read and debug the code so what happens is there are different functions it's easier to maintain and while you are debugging you can always switch uh, you know switch off a particular function like put it into comments or something like that so the debugging becomes better uh, recursion is very good for tree traversal so as i said if you are learning data structure or if you are going to learn data structure remember this particular part that recursion uh, saves a lot of time and it is very better for tree traversals and it, uh, the disadvantages which i would put is it has uh, and again this all will come into your examination so please write it down somewhere parallelly so disadvantages is that recursion uses too much of memory we are creating separate functions so the function has to add a stack with each recursive call and keeps the value until the call is finished so memory allocation is greater than iterative and recursion can be slow if not implemented correctly so you need to be implementing it properly and as i said there are two other concepts uh, we have a discussion on which is iteration and recursion so basically iteration is function repeats defined process until a condition fails right whereas recursion is executing a specific process within the function via function call so in the further videos we will see differences between uh, iteration and uh, recursion but that was it for the introduction i hope you understood uh, what we discussed in this lecture uh, if you have any doubts, any comments, uh, please uh, share it in the comment section, all right, uh, below in here. Please like the video, please subscribe the channel uh, if you like our efforts to teach the C programming. And please refer all the videos in the series so your continuity is intact, all right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.